Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys here with a rare nighttime review. Are the kids in bed? Is it time to break out the candles and put Delilah on the radio? Well, if so, then you may be interested in the as seen on TV Luma candles. These are made out of real wax, have real candle scent, but they run on batteries and have a remote control. Epic Review Guys. Now, ever since I found this flame app for my phone, I'm set for parties and posadas. But if you want something a little more realistic, you want to have that candle experience, but for whatever reason you don't want to have the actual flame. Maybe you have kids around, and I know lots of times when my kids were younger going to the restaurants, first thing we do is take the candle off the table and put it on another table because the kids are just going to get their fingers in there, you know it. Well this lets you have that real candle experience because they're made out of wax, but they have LED lights inside, and apparently the circuitry so that a remote control can actually work with them. For $20 with Luma candles, you get three candles of different heights. It looks like they're different colors here, but with the remote control, you can set them to be any of these colors. Each candle does need three AAA batteries, and if you can't find Luma candles locally, I'll put a link down below this video. You can check it out online. Here's what comes in the box. Your three candles that are this color until the LED light changes them to something else. The little remote control and then instruction manual that explains pretty clearly what you can do with these. What I like is that you basically set them for four hours or eight hours and the candles will turn off after that amount of time instead of staying on when you forget and then ending up using up all the battery. This is actually a kind of cool tech toy. With the remote, you can choose the different colors. You can set it to stay the color. You can set it to cycle through colors. You can do them as a group. You can have them do things separately. You can set the time and so forth. So if you're looking to dial up the romance with somebody who's a techie, geeky kind of person, um, I can tell you from experience that those people tend to be very sentimental but they may not have the best skills in romance, so you may be taking care of two birds with one stone with one of these. Here's what the candle looks like, and what looks like would be the wick. It's actually kind of rubbery. That is the top of the LED light. Now the candle itself, you can see the edge, which is made of wax, is not perfectly round. They've made it so it has that sort of slightly used look to it. And there's a very pleasant smell of vanilla that comes from the... I've peeled off this protective piece from around the candle, and this is all wax. What I think they did is they basically took a strip of wax and rolled it up around here, basically around the, the electronics of the candle. As you can see here, this is where you have the power switch, and this is where you put in the batteries. When I stood the candles next to one another, I found that the wick is actually the same distance in all of them from the bottom. What they've done is they've just made the sides higher in two of them. Turn the switch. There you go. Seems to be set to automatically change color until you've uh, programmed it with the remote. Oh, I like that blue. There's the wick slash bulb inside there. Now there's a continuous glow mode and there's also a flicker mode to make it look more realistic. Like uh, there's an actual flame. I have all three candles going. They haven't been programmed yet. They're each going through the cycle on their own. Now with the remote control, it looks like you can turn the candles on and off. You can set the mode to flicker or steady. You can set it for eight hours or four hours to turn off, and you can also choose the color. Now, if you point this at the candle when the candle is by itself, you can program the candle individually. If you point it at a group of candles, it's supposed to program all of them at once. So let's see how this works. Can I turn them off? Yes, turn them back on. Oh, I like this. Okay, mode. That's that flicker mode. And then steady mode. Four hour, eight hour timer. Multicolor, they'll cycle through the different colors. Or I should be able to set them all to one color. How about a dark blue? Oh, what about a bright yellow? I like this. And then some romantic red. Mmm. Let's see what it looks like with the light off. Now when you get older, it takes a minute for your eyes to get used to the dark, but right now, with just these candles providing the light, I can see around the room pretty clearly. So I'm actually starting to really like these. Let's go for multicolor mode. <laughs> That's a big change from all red. Okay, and a flicker. 
the flicker isn't quite as strong uh, to make it really a believable candle. Well, it gives a little bit of that sense. I don't think it's heating up. I think the smell... I think the smell of the vanilla is it just comes out of the candle. So just by opening it and putting it out, you're going to fill the room with that vanilla scent. I don't think it's related to whether the candle's turned on or off. Let's see if I can program this candle separately by putting it over here and pointing the remote at it. Let's say I want it green. Uh-oh. <laughs> no. It seems you've got to get it quite a distance away, I guess, to program it separately. Let's try it over here. I'll see if I can turn it red. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you just, just need a little distance between them. And when the time comes to blow the candles out, you always get that a lot of smoke comes out of it and that unpleasant smell. Well, with this, when it's time for lights out, lights out. Now, I actually picked these up over at the As Seen on TV section of our local fries because I thought they were such a silly thing, but I actually kind of like them now. And if you're trying to trying to catch the eye of a, a techie, geeky kind of guy, I could see this being a really good ploy where you buy something like this and then you talk to the guy and say, I've got these new electronic candles and it's all so complicated. Can you come over and show me how they work? And of course, you've got to have the lights down low to test them out. You've got the berry white all queued up and ready to go. You're all set. I tell you, the way to a techie's heart is not through his stomach. It's through a cool piece of tech. Shopping is easy when